Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Mm, I needed this. You're telling me. I cannot even talk to my kids until I've had coffee. Hmm. Yeah, our kids know not to fuck with us in the morning until after we've had our coffee. Mm. Last week when I ran out of coffee, came home from the playground with the wrong kid three times. Yeah, I remember that, Joe. That was our kid. No, literally, guys, I cannot get out of bed unless my husband brings me a fresh cup of coffee and wafts the smell over my face. Without it, I'll just lay there all day like a fucking zombie. Well, actually, Deb's been waking me up recently to the sound of our coffee milk mixing. Mm -hmm. I don't go anywhere without my coffee. I've been trying this thing recently with coffee and kombucha. Tastes awesome. And it just cleans me right out in the morning. We'll wake up and smell the coffee. Oh, whoa. Uh, speaking of aromas, <clears throat> so there's this animal in Indonesia, right? And they just straight up feed it coffee beans. And apparently it poops out some really quality coffee. We actually used to own one. Uh, it died. Anyhow, that's okay though because as it turns out, you can do the exact same thing with household cats. As a matter of fact, I carry this little piece of Mr. Fluffles with me everywhere I go. You guys have got to try this here, pass it down. It's so lovely. You got to try this, yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> oh, dude, that's just cat shit. I've built up such a high tolerance to coffee that I have to dip my tampons. It's the only way I can feel it. I'm gonna save this for later. I, I usually take caffeine pills in the morning, um, but this morning I forgot them and I backed up over our dog. What? <laughs> 